Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we are going to be talking about uh, really uh, my one of my favorite heroes uh, from Marvel, uh, it's Thor, so from Chris uh, Hemsworth. Okay, so as you can tell by uh, the before and after right here of the thumbnail, we have just uh, Chris Hemsworth right here, also have Thor himself, you know, with the lighting in the background, and I was able to combine the two. Uh, zoom in a little bit so we can, you know, get a clear in of, of you know, this cool effect. So basically, we were able to blend in uh, Chris with uh, the lightning in the background. You know, Thor yelling. <laughs> that, looks, that looks pretty amazing. Okay, so basically, that's what we're going to be learning how to do it today. And just say a disclaimer, this video is going to take a little while. Um, as expected, you know, if you have seen any of my other videos, because... Uh, I really want to focus on the step-by-step -step and, you know, not uh, speeding it up for people who really want to follow along because I have seen other videos where they have skipped certain steps and it's just, it gets really hard to just follow along and you get really frustrated because you don't know what's going on. Um, even if a video is long, as long as it covers everything, you can always just, you know, speed it up a little bit or you can, you know, uh, with the power of technology, you can skip ahead to a certain areas that you want. I know my introduction takes about at least you know two to three minutes or so, sometimes a little bit longer, because I want to be able to explain everything properly. Okay. Um, okay. So yeah. So as always, you know, like I said, welcome to Photoshop Magic. This channel focuses on the magical and creative power of Photoshop and is designed for anybody who has no prior knowledge to get him or her excited and aspire to master Photoshop at the basic and intermediate level. Um, so if you want to see more videos, please, you know, uh, consider subscribing, uh, smash that like button, and turn on the notification bell so you are notified the moment a video is posted. And as always, if a video is too slow, you can always speed it up um, for any of the videos on YouTube. And always give credit to the owner of the photographs used if you are able to use that photograph, depending on that license. Okay? So, and uh, as always, too, this video may contain affiliate links in the near future in the description below. Uh, thank you for the love and support. So as a disclaimer, so this video I stated with the affiliate links may contain affiliate links. That means that if you click on any of the products that you know I feel is as high quality products and I believe in, uh, I will receive a small commission for connecting you, the buyer and the seller that provides the special links for the channel. So it's almost as if you were to visit that site and you pay the same amount basically, and. Uh, for me, connecting the two, I, I do get a small commission from the seller for, you know, that they have a new uh, new buyer, okay? So for you, you pay the same price. Sometimes you might even save a little bit. Um, so yeah, so this helps support the channel and, you know, allows more videos to be created. And these are the licenses I'm about to show you guys in a bit um, for the two images. Okay, so I'm going to open up the two images right here. This one I found on Pixie Bay. And... This was the closest thing I, I could find that was free to be able to use, as you can see right here. Free for commercial use, no attribution required, but it's always best to give them credit. So if I were to right click right here, I'll give some options. Uh, if I click open in a new tab, I will be able to see right here of the uh, license that we're able to use all the content and just have to read up on it. And the next one is uh, on Flickr. I found on Flickr of Chris Hemsworth. I think that was, was a pretty good picture and we're able to use it too for the sum rights reserve we're right, going to right click on it and we'll be able to find that more information attribution share alike generic okay so we're, what we're able to do share you know ad adapt mix transform remix uh and then here's all the things that we're able to as long as we indicate if changes were made okay so i did indicate you know there were changes made uh using the background for you know the exposure here so without further ado let's get started so the very first thing I, I did was I clicked on this download button, the, the drop down arrow. So we're going to left click on it and it's going to ask us, you know, which one of these. We're going to click on original and then it's going to come down here. We want to click on save the folder. And when you first save things, it's uh, the name is usually really wacko. So you just got to name it to match, you know, whatever it is that you're doing. So I did name this when I first downloaded it. Uh, to Chris Hemsworth. Okay, it makes it a lot easier. So when you do search for it, you can actually find it instead of just some random numbers. Okay, so let's get started. That was a really long intro, so you can just skip ahead. Okay, so so we're gonna go to file 
we are going to click on open. The very first thing we want to do is want to find the right photo. So I'm going to left click on the photo that we need, that one, and also just store mystical. Uh, so that's the first one. And I'm going to I'm going to hold the control button down. I'm going to click on mystical. Where is it? I think we just need to change it back to the list here. Makes it a lot easier to find. Perfect, right there. Perfect. All right. So these are the two images that we're going to be be able to do. Okay. So first thing that we want to do is we obviously we want to um, start with Thor right here, the person that's going to be uh, what we're going to start with. Okay. And the very first thing we want to do is we're we're going to name it. Um, so we're going to double click right here from background. We're going to give it a name instead of later zero. Background is always later zero. We're going to name it to match it. So we're going to we're gonna put Thor. Just going to, you know, make it as simple as possible. And we're going to left click to click OK. And as you can see right there, it got changed to Thor. OK. Perfect. So second thing you want to do is want to go to the quick selection tool, which is this one right here, of this brush. And with the uh, marching ant. So we're going to right click on it to give these three options. The one that we want is called a quick selection tool. Okay, perfect. And uh, after you click on that, you have some options in here, uh, depending on you know what you already have, because I'm pretty sure your image is going to be a little bit different. Um, so you can uh, left click, hold, and drag to make the size a little bit bigger or smaller. And what we want from this is going to be see, I just made a mistake right there by accident. I'm going to hold the control button down. I'm going to zap tap Z once to undo. Okay. So throughout any of these videos. Uh, if you've done any kind of mistakes at all, no worries. You can just do a keyboard shortcut, Control Z to undo your mistake. Okay, and you can do it once or twice. You know, to uh, for the the first mistake or the second mistake that you did. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to left click, hold, and drag on the areas that we want to keep. Okay, so in this case, we want to keep you know obviously Thor right here, and I kind of want to keep the lightning storm. Up here too because it looks amazing because we're going to be putting Chris up here pretty soon um, everything else is you know it doesn't look as amazing okay so we're going to left click hold and drag and as you can see the computer does a really good job of selecting you know our object right here because it knows and I just want to keep this area okay perfect okay so as you can see this whole area gets selected but I only want a certain area I do not want the whole thing right here um, so in order to fix that what we have to do is we have to hold the alt button down on the keyboard bottom left of the keyboard alt and then as you can see the sign changes to a minus instead of a plus once i hold the alt button down okay so now i'm gonna left click hold and drag also and i can start from this empty backspace right here so i can get the corners okay so i'm gonna left click hold and drag while holding the alt button down and i'm just highlighting little by little of the section i do not want so i don't want too too much empty space uh, so I want that a little blackness so let's just keep as little of the blackness as possible it's just like that perfect so um, that didn't work out as, as much as we would like it to because it took out too much of the, the dark area so I'm gonna I'm gonna add on to it and that's the beauty of it so I have released the alt button now now you can see it's a plus sign and I'm gonna left click hold and drag and I'm just gonna lightly you know just expand out a little bit so we can get a little bit of the blackness in there so it looks even more amazing uh, so we don't want it too far out uh, just like that I, th I think that looks amazing okay that's perfect okay so the next thing that we want to do this part is super important is that uh, we have to refine those edges so for the latest Photoshop for the latest Photoshop uh, what we have to do it's a little bit hidden so you want to hold the shift button down it's to the left of the Z um, button so I'm gonna hold it down we're gonna go to select while we have the marching in okay make sure you still have the marching in on there so as I have always stated in my other videos um, in Photoshop is a very complex tool and it's a very complex software and uh, if you, you are new, uh, feel, 
please do not just click away because you will not get the desired effect. If you just click away, if a certain item is not still highlighted or still selected, and you go on to the next feature, it's not going to work, okay? So we're going to make sure that Marchena is still selected, holding down the shift button. And we are going to go to select, and we are going to go to select and mask. Okay, we're going to left click on it, and there you have it. Okay, I'm, I just released the shift button. And now we have the Refine Edge tool. So in here, uh, beauty of Photoshop with all these toggles, you can just play around with it. Um, and yeah, just play around with it a little bit. And some of these, you can even see how it affects the photo. So the feather is like how, how, um, smooth it's going to look and everything. It adds a little bit of realism, basically the smoothness obviously affects the smoothness of the edges. So now, uh, what you can do, you can just mess around with it a little bit. So what I like to do sometimes, I like to just left click and drag it all the way on the opposite side of the end, see what it does. And as you can see, it's it's not much change in here for this particular photograph. So we just you know play around with it a little bit. So this one, yeah, this one emits dramatic change. Uh, if I were to drag the radius out too far, it the background looks amazing, but Thor he looks a little bit um, kind of washed out, which we don't want. So we want this to be on the lower end. So make Thor as realistic as possible. Okay, so just like that. And before we click OK, the very important thing that we have to do is we need to come out here, we need to left click, hold and drag, and we need to drag around these edges. This will tell the computer um, that, you know, these are the edges. So when we do drag Chris Hemsworth over here, he will know exactly where um, to combine the two images together to make it look amazing. And as you can see right here, um, it doesn't need to be perfect. It just needs to be closed in. Um, so we can, uh, there's no empty spaces right here. It needs, just needs to be closed in, like I said. Just like that. Okay, so now I'm just going to release. And there you have it. Okay, so now we can click OK. Perfect. So now it's, it's, it's coming back to the original one where, you know, it looks fairly amazing okay so after that is done we do need to create a clipping mask in the area so make sure that the Thor layer is selected if not already so we're gonna left click on it just to make sure and then we can still see all of that and we're just gonna right click on it um, no not right click so what you want to do after that is you want to find this uh, black circle with the rectangle around it and there's a big difference between left click hold and drag it down here and just clicking it okay so what we want to be able to do is we want to click on it we want to left click on it to add a layer mask that's all we want so we're going to left click on it and as you can see there's a new chain of done right you will be able to see a chain connecting it to uh, black art with uh, some white space in between that white space is literally Thor right here so as you can see, if we were to go to the move tool, if I were to, I can actually move Thor around because that's the areas that we, you know, define that we actually want from the selection tool. Okay. So that looks amazing. All right. So I think we've come a long way to, uh, to save our work because right now we are reach a, a good milestone to be able to save our work. And as I have always stated, uh, when it comes to using software, powerful software, it's always a good idea to save your work. Uh, it doesn't take all that long, especially when you use the keyboard shortcut. Okay, because life unexpected things happen all the time, and we just have to expect it and and just be able to live with it. All right, we have to learn how to adapt. Okay, so if not, you know, if this were to take us a few hours, we would lose a few hours of work, which we wouldn't want, right? We want to go to file. We want to go to save, and we just want to give it a name. Okay, uh, we're just gonna name it Thor background removed two all right okay so we're just gonna save it so it's not matching the other one perfect all right so now after a few minutes of, of work after here we are going to you know use a keyboard shortcut of control s to save our work so we can feel you know uh happy and, and comfortable that our work has been saved so 
if the program were to crash right now, I wouldn't have to worry as much because I would only lose a few minutes of work if I were to save it every few minutes. All right. So the next thing that we want to be able to do is we want to go to the other image now. We want to go to the first image of Chris Hemsworth. Okay. So before we do anything, we, we want to make sure that we name it accordingly. Okay. So instead of background, I'm just going to double click on the background layer right there and we're just going to name it Chris. Uh, Chris H for Hemsworth. Okay, so we're gonna click on OK, and there you go. It's been changed. So when we refer to the different layers in Photoshop, you will know exactly what layers we're talking about. And as always, if the image is too small for you, you can just hold the Control button down on the bottom left and tap the plus sign once to zoom in, just like so. And I think it's too zoomed in, so we're gonna zoom out a little bit. Okay. Okay. Alright, so this one, what we want to be able to do is we want to go to the selection tool. It's the exact same selection tool. We're going to right click on it. We're going to click on it. But this time, instead of selecting the areas that we would like to keep, we're going to select the background that we would like to delete. It's a big difference, okay? So this one, um, uh, I think the brush is a little bit too big. So we're going to go up here, change it from 38 to uh, about 20. Perfect, just like that going to come out here. So what you want to do is we want to left click, hold and drag. And we don't want to go too close to him because the computer will know exactly what we're doing. And as you can see right here, it's taking away his ear, which we did not want. But we're going to ignore that for now. We're going to fix it later. OK, so I'm, I'm just going to go around these edges. And as you can see, it fills it in for me beautifully. Uh, just like that. As you can see in my cursor, it I haven't even gone close to him at all. And it seems to know where I like to keep it. OK. Perfect, just like that. And as stated, <clears throat> the the ones that with the marching ants, these that we have highlighted, they're gonna get deleted, including his ear right here, which we obviously do not want, right? So I was gonna purposely make a mistake anyway, so it already made a mistake, so good. To fix that, we're gonna hold the Alt button down, bottom left of the keyboard, ALT, and it's gonna change to the minus sign, and I'm gonna left click, hold and drag, and we are going to regain his ear back. And now it seems a little space here that we can fill in. Just like that. <clears throat> yeah, it looks amazing. Next thing we want to do is we want to uh, smooth it out a little bit. We're going to go to select, making sure that the um, this uh, marching is still selected. So I have two screens. So when I move between the two, uh, sometimes it gets deselected. So now it's still selected. Make sure you still have the marching ant. And you're going to go to select, we're going to go to modify, go to smooth. And this number, you can, you know, obviously depend on your photo. Uh, you can choose the, for any number you want. You want it between 8 and 12 or so. So I'm just going to leave it at 8. And you won't see any subtle, you know, major changes or anything. So now that we are happy and we have the marching ant and everything, the next thing that we want to do is we want to make a copy of this layer. Okay, so uh, we're gonna left click on it once to make sure that this section, this layer is highlighted. We're gonna left click, hold, and then drag. And as you can see, we're gonna, gonna drag all the way down here um, uh, until the, the, plus, the plus sign with the square around it is highlighted. Uh, to the right of it, there's a trash can. Make sure you don't go to a trash can, okay? So we're just gonna make sure it's above right here and then we're going to release and if done right you should be able to see where it says Chris H copy okay that's perfect so now this new copy should be the new highlighted one if not already you left click on it once to make sure that's highlighted and what we want to do this next one on your keyboard there's a delete button you tap the delete button down and if done right you should be able to see it's kind of small in here that the background is now an empty space and if you really want to see it up here we are going to turn the eye off of the original uh, layer. We're going to, this eye right here, we're going to left click on it once to turn off the background. And now you can only see this layer where this checkerboard pattern behind him, meaning that uh, it's an empty space. That's what it means in Photoshop. And again, we've come a long way to be able to save our work. So what we want to do is we want to hold the control button down. We're going to tap S once, and there you go. So as you can see, it's asking us to save the work. 
because this is a totally separate file. It's you know it's from here. It's not the other one. So that's why it's asking us to save it instead of the original one saving from the other one. So this one we're just gonna name it Chris Hemsworth. I think it's fair. We're just gonna click save. Okay, and then click okay. Perfect. So before we you know do anything else, we have to make sure that the selection tool is selected. Um, if not, uh, we might make a mistake of accidentally cutting you know more where we don't want to cut even more. Okay, so I'm just gonna left click hold and drag anywhere on his face to to move him, just like that. Okay. Okay. So now what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to drag uh, Chris uh, Chris H to the other one. And if you've never done this before, um, it can get a little bit intimidating at first if you've never seen it before. But once you've done it once, I can promise you, uh, you will feel a lot more comfortable next time. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is our first one and this is our second where we have the other image. Okay, so from here, what we want to be able to do, we're going to left click, hold and drag. I'm not going to do it yet. I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do. Uh, and then we're going to move him up here. And then we're going uh, and then, to and then drag him all the way down here. Once we have dragged him to the other title, it's going to automatically change. It changes automatically to the other image. And then we can just come down and, and you will see a, a plus sign. And you, you're just going to release. Okay. So I'm actually going to do it now. I'm going to left click, hold and drag anywhere in his face. I'm going to drag him up here. It's almost as if we're going out of you know the way and now I'm going to move to the other title and as you can see it changes automatically to the other image I'm going to come back down and you can see this plus sign right here and all I'm doing is I'm releasing the left hold okay just like that and uh, most of the time when it comes in uh, it is kind of big uh, I don't know why it's tiny now the program must have adjusted to my style of, of doing things okay so now um, uh, he is too small what we want to do we want to make him a little bigger okay so you want to hold the control button down, bottom left, and we're going to tap T. And as you can see, you'll see these uh, uh, boxes around him. I'm going to hover over one of the corners and see the double arrows. So we're going to left click, hold, and drag to make him bigger. Just like that. just like that okay okay so now uh, let's name it to the appropriate one we're gonna double click on it we're gonna take out copy so it's just gonna be Chris H because this is totally separate from the other one we don't have to worry about the other one as much okay so now I kind of want to make door a little bit bigger too so I'm gonna uh, left click right here to you know the door layer and then and then I'm gonna hold the control button down. I'm gonna tap T so we have this option right here so we make make him even bigger so i can see it's going off screen a little bit which is okay so now it's off so we can left click anywhere in the middle right here and we can drag him back in okay just like that perfect and i think that looks fairly good cool so uh i kind of think it's best to put door uh somewhere in the background right here instead of you know like all the the, the first two projects of you know putting them right under the, the character itself but in this case I think it's more appropriate to put them up here okay so I'm gonna make Chris a little bit bigger so we're gonna make sure Chris is highlighted in here we're gonna click control T and we are going to left click hold and drag and the first thing you want to do is you want to make him the size of the background that you want and then then you can worry about moving later okay so now it's the right size if I were to like look at it and I'm gonna left click hold and drag so just like that and he's blocking door space which we don't want okay so we just want to just like that and we kind of want to be able to see the hammer a bit so yeah I think that looks pretty cool just like so okay cool so and then uh, once you like it the way the way it is, we're gonna click on this check mark right here. Perfect.
So the very next thing that we, we want to be able to do is we want to create a clipping mask of this layer right here, okay? So we're going to make sure that it's uh, Chris H is highlighted, that layer. We're going to right-click on it. We're going to click on Create Clipping Mask. And if done right, um, you should be able to see uh, there's a left arrow right here coming down. That indicates that it, uh, a clipping mask has been done. So, which basically means that if I were to left-click, hold, and drag him, he's going to be behind this... Uh, kind of void so as you can see when we move him around just to show you what it does so and that looks pretty amazing you know it's it's, it's blending the two together um, so he's above he is a he is in front of the the actual image that we have but he's behind the empty void all right so we're just gonna put him right back to where he belongs just like just like that and it doesn't look amazing yet but it will in a little bit Okay, so now we need to create a background layer. Okay, the background layer can be any color that we want. Um, so to be able to do that, make sure Chris H is highlighted, and we do not want to make a copy of it. We just want a third layer. Okay, to do that, we just want to hover above this uh, plus sign with the uh, square around it. And if you hover long enough for a few seconds, it'll say create a new layer. Okay, we're gonna click left click on it, and now. We want the layer one, this new layer, to be in the background. Okay, so basically means that it's not going to be blocking everything out here. We want Chris to be in front of that background. So to be able to do that, it needs to be the lowest one. So we are going to left click, hold and drag. And as you can see that by the turquoise color line, it's going to come down here. So now it's in the middle, So, but we want it to be at the very bottom. Okay, so we're going to left click, hold and drag again until I see the other turquoise line. I'm going to release. And for whatever reason, it doesn't want to do it. Perfect. Just like that. Okay. Okay. So now that we have this new layer, make sure that new layer is still selected. And let's name it, you know, something appropriate. So we are going to put, I'm planning on putting uh, a color background. So we can choose any color that we want. I want something that's a little bit stand out. Uh, so we can choose gray, gray background. So it matches the the weather in the background. So it's just going to left click on it to highlight. And we just want to, the forward color right here, the very bottom left, we want to click on it. And we want to choose the color that is appropriate. You know, we can just use the alpha. We can just use any of these colors um, that we want. And we want the metallic coat. Okay. I like the metallic coat. It fits the setting right here. I'm going to click OK. And then we're going to go directly to the paint bucket tool, right click on it, and choose the second option, which is paint bucket. And while the gray background is still selected, highlighted, I can come anywhere in this gray area. I'm going to left click once, and then there you go. Just like that. Okay. So now that we have that, we have to go back to the move tool to make sure that, you know, this paint bucket tool doesn't ruin any of our, you know, amazing project right here. We're going to hold the control button down, tap S to save our work. So now we 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 need to be able to create a clipping mask, okay? So we're after we click on the move tool, we need to go back to the first layer, the Chris H layer, and we want to create a clipping mask for that. Um, which is the small. So once this section is highlighted, we want to click on that section right there, or the small um, black circle with the rectangle around it. We want to click on it. We don't want to left click, hold, and drag. There's a big difference between the two, so you want to make sure you left click on it right here. Okay, if done right, you should be able to see a chain with a kind of white background in there. And next thing we want to be able to do is we want to only make that change to Chris himself, okay? So as you can see, the, the only thing that's highlighted right now is this white section right here, which we don't want. So we want to left click once right here, and sometimes you have to do it twice, so one to indicate you want to get there a second time, and it changes this. Uh, white surrounding right there it's highlighting only Chris okay so the next thing we want to do is you know make our effect so uh, if you hover around it a, a little bit above it with this drop down arrow it says normal so you can just hover over any of these and it will change the character 
to match to kind of mix the two together and some of them it looks really weird at times but if you get it right like this one where it's just lightened it blends the two really nicely so I think I want to uh, make Chris a little bit bigger so I'm just gonna hold the control button down tap T uh, I'm gonna drag him out a little bit so I don't want him to cover Thor's face but just a little bit bigger just like that and we we'll won't see the cameras also so we're gonna click check right there but yeah this this one looks really amazing so if we were to zoom in a little bit I'm gonna hold the control button down tap the uh, plus sign on there and we're gonna left click hold and drag this part as you can see that looks that looks pretty cool it's like he's blending in behind the, the lightning and everything uh, so perfect so I'm gonna zoom out a little bit alright so I really like this one we're, we're, we're gonna save it okay so we're gonna go to file you wanna go to save as so as I have always stated save as is different than save um, save as will not uh, affect the original save at all uh, what it allows you to do there's you can do unlimited amount of save as okay save as allows you to save a separate file with a different location a different name it's it's totally a separate file so for this one we can literally go to each separate effects and save save it as a save as and have all the different effects that we want and name it a little bit differently one two three or however we want to name it uh, save as is really amazing so get to know you know the the difference between save and save as okay so you can continue to to make all these great work all right so we're gonna click save this computer we're gonna name it appropriately so I want to name it lighten okay so we're gonna be uh, Thor lighten effect effects okay and we are going to click save just like that and as always the first one you should always save it as uh, Photoshop format but I really since I really like this one that's my final work I'm gonna go to file again we are going to save as again but this time we can even keep the same name uh, we can just change the format to JPEG so we can view it later okay so we're gonna Thor lighten effects we're gonna click save and you guys will be able to see what I mean but you know for save as in a little bit we're gonna click OK and now we can just continue on to you know look at the different effects of here we're gonna click on the drop down arrow again we're gonna go to screen as you can see it looks a little bit different than the other one lighten seems a little bit more uh, combined than screen screen does I mean it has its amazing look too but it doesn't look as amazing as the other one color dodge not really I mean it has its uniqueness to it I think vivid looks pretty amazing you know, it almost looks like uh, his eyes is, you know, lightning away. I mean, he is the God of Thunder after all. Okay, so I really like this one too. We are going to go to File. We're going to go to Save As. And then we are going to, um, you know, give it a second name, okay? So as you can see, the first one, uh, Thor Light Effects, is right here. So this is a totally separate file. They have nothing to do with each other. This is, I can even save this as a brand new location with a brand new name. Or, we, you know, as long as it's not the same name, it, it it won't get confused. Okay, this one we will name it Vivid Light. Okay, so it's gonna be Thor, and I'm just gonna come down here, Vivid Light Effects Effects. Okay, and we're gonna click Save, we click OK. We're gonna go Photo again. We're gonna go Save As, and as always, keep it the same name, but we're gonna change the type so we can actually view it, at, you know, with a different device like your smartphone or your computer and not having to open up JPEG alright it's gonna save it as a flat image of your final work alright we're gonna click save perfect and you know we're just gonna continue on a little bit of different effects that we have here this one looks pretty amazing too exclusion so these ones not as cool as much unless we want you know a certain effect we can't really tell who he is anymore um, so the other ones that you can do would be let me zoom out a little bit so you can see it a little bit clearer we can actually make these effects on you know Thor in the background okay so uh, I stated earlier uh, Chris Hemsworth is the one that is selected so we're gonna select the, the one in the background instead you know so we're gonna go it's still normal we're gonna you know do the same thing but uh, the effect is gonna have a different effect on the background instead of just Chris Hemsworth right there
I think this one looks pretty pretty cool overlay it's matching the two together and you know still keeping the original effect of here um, yeah and but you know his clothes is uh, not making it look as nice I think but still pretty badass okay so we're gonna click hard light we're gonna go file we are going to save us again um, so hard light effect effect just like that and we are going to go to file we're going to go to save as again uh, change the format to JPEG and perfect and there you have it guys um, so yeah so let me show you, you know, let me show you guys real quick of you know all the different files that we actually saved up so if we were to go to the location itself got a thunder these are all the different examples that we have so if I were to click on one of them and I have to make sure that it's a JPEG one so it's gonna be Thor vivid light effect so we're gonna double click on it that's our first save as okay as you can see we can uh, use you can click on the zoom button down here we're gonna zoom in a little bit and then we can see you know the different effects that looks pretty awesome just like that okay all right, and we can tell that that is not the real Chris Hemsworth. Okay, it's some other dude dressed as Thor. <laughs> okay, so um, we are going to let me show you the other ones too. Vivid light. We have a hard light effect. So as you can see, these are the different save as effects, uh, which is pretty good. So you have you know many different options in here. The different different works that they all look. They all have their own special effects. So it's pretty amazing. And as always, thank you for uh, spending the time with me. And if you haven't already, please smash that like button. So uh, this video will get suggested to more people. Uh, and yeah, as always, have an amazing day.